Hello, this is a video on the Rombi icosadodecahedron. This is one of the 13 Archimedean solids. In this series, I'm explaining how the five platonic solids can be used to derive the 13 Archimedean solids. Here across the top, we see the five platonic solids. Two of the 13 Archimedean solids can be found by expansion. The one I'm interested in today is a derivative of the dodecahedron and icosahedron. It's called the rhombi icosadodecahedron. Here we have the rhombi icosadodecahedron. Notice that it is made up of triangles, squares, and pentagons. Recall that for an Archimedean solid, each face must be a regular figure, equilateral and equiangular. To show how expansion works, I'm going to use the Truncate Expand Snubify website. I'm going to scroll down to the expansion section, and we're going to see that if we expand the dodecahedron or the icosahedron, we get the same shape. So here we are at the dodecahedron. It is made up of 12 pentagons. What's going to be happening in expansion is each edge is going to be pulled apart. Focus on this edge right here between the blue and the tan and notice how it gets pulled apart. It gets pulled apart into a rectangle. When we do expansion, the edges get pulled apart but also the vertices get pulled apart. The original pentagon sides remain as pentagons. If this was actually all the way to an Archimedean solid, this face would need to be a square and this would be a triangle. I can also expand the icosahedron to get the same shape. This is the rhombi icosadodecahedron. Rhombi means uh, four-sided or uh, like a square. So that's why that uh, word is put in front. And since it's a result of the dodecahedron and a result of the icosahedron, this is the rhombi icosadodecahedron. So I'm going to give you a choice of questions. You can figure out the data by expanding the dodecahedron or you can find the data for the rhombi icosadodecahedron by expanding the icosahedron. The number of faces, edges, and vertices will be the same either way. Let me give a couple of suggestions. First of all, on the left-hand side, we have all the information and data relative to the original dodecahedron before the expansion. Then over here, we have three types of faces. And my suggestion is that the type 1 faces be from the original faces. The original face here is a pentagon. It is going to remain a pentagon. So N1 will be 5. The type 2 faces will come from pulling the edges apart. This edge gets pulled apart and it becomes a square. And finally, the type 3 faces will come from pulling the vertices apart. This vertex here has degree 3, so when it gets pulled apart, it becomes a triangle. So pause the video now if you would like to figure out the data for the expanded dodecahedron. Or pause the video here if you would like to find the data for the expanded icosahedron. I hope you enjoy finding the many interesting properties of the Archimedean solids.